Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another week of Coffee and Composition. I'm April, president of A Little More Truth, LLC. And again, this is our series to take the woes out of your next writing assignment. So this week, I have my big mug because we are diving into the active voice. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to dive into what it is, how you use it, what not to do, why it's useful. And let's just go ahead and get started. There's no point in putting it off. All right. So I'm gonna share my screen and hopefully this time we can keep it going. But if there's technical difficulties, we will be fluid and roll with it. All right, so slideshow from the beginning. The active voice, like I said, I have my big mug because the active voice can be really intimidating for a lot of people, but it shouldn't be, it's really a useful tool. But if you are having trouble and you feel like these videos are good, but they're not really giving you what you need, you need more one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to reach out to us by scanning this QR code or visiting our website, a little more truth, llc.com and see how we can be of service to you. So what is the active voice? Plain and simple, the active voice uses verbs to convey authority in a direct tone. So instead of saying, I was going to go to the mall, you would say, I went to the mall. So the active voice is, I went to the mall, where the verb is went versus I was going to go to the mall, where the passive verb phrase is was going, okay? Simple enough. Easier to see in conversation, a little bit harder to do in the written composition. So let's translate Strunk and White and what they have to say about the active voice. The active voice makes your writing more vigorous. So we could see from the example that I just gave you, I was going to go to the mall versus I went to the mall. Very vigorous writing, more direct, okay? It also makes your writing more concise. Again, I was going to go to the mall. Eight words for a sentence versus I went to the mall, five words. We shaved off three whole words, okay? And unless you're trying to get those word counts in for your assignments, you really wanna be concise with your writing and not overly verbose, verbose, excuse me. And then finally, it shouldn't be used all the time. So the active voice is good. It makes your writing more concise, more vigorous, but it can also make your writing much more kind of like a march, 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 march. So you don't need to use it all the time. You wanna vary it up just like you wanna vary up anything in language. You know, we talked about how to vary up sentences a few seasons back. You wanna vary up when you're using the active voice. And sometimes, sometimes you wanna throw in the passive voice, but make it sparing. All right, so let's look at an example. Again, this is our same poorly written essay that we looked at last week. And we're gonna look this week at how to turn the passive voice into the active voice. So let's just skip on down here to this sentence that is, yes, one sentence, all right? But I feel that because there's not so many issues like it used to be when he was growing up, like a lot of bad treatment of black people by white people, that it shouldn't be a problem with me dating a white person. So here we have two examples in one sentence. I know, crazy, right? Two examples of the passive voice in one sentence that we can quickly make into the active voice. So instead of this phrase, like it used to be, we can just say before. But I feel that because there's not so many issues like before, simple, we shaved off what? One, two, three, four words and just have two now, making our writing more vigorous, more concise already. So then we go to when he was growing up, okay? So we can shave this down by saying when he grew, when he grew up, simple. Again, we're taking out those words. We don't need the verb was. We can just say he grew, he grew up. We, didn't, we don't have to say he was growing up. So how would this sentence sound if we made it more active? It still would have problems, but this is how it would sound if we made it more active. But I feel that because there's not so many issues like before when he grew up, like a lot of bad treatment and so on and so on, okay? But you can already hear the difference. We're already picking up the pace of the writing and not slowing down your reader and getting to the point that you're really trying to make, okay? And then another example in this essay is right here. I found it was interesting that she experienced, and again, it's got all types of typos and stuff in here, more race-related harassments in Canada and that this deepened my love of the ideals embedded in the American Bill of Rights. So this one is super simple. All you have to do is eliminate the verb was. I found it interesting. Look how much more 
concise that is. Look how much more rigorous that is. I found it was interesting versus I found it interesting. We get right to the point. Now we're going to come back to this whole sentence and phrase in another series or another week to talk about how to make it even better altogether. But if we're just trying to make this go from passive to active voice, take out was, say you found it interesting and keep it moving. All right. So the key takeaway, I know the active voice is a lot and it really just comes with practice of doing it. So there's not so much, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. You just need to practice making your writing more active by making your verbs more um, direct and more action, make them action verbs, not passive verbs. So the key takeaway is the active voice eliminates unnecessary verbs and makes your writing more clear and concise. All right. So practice it, y'all. Practice it, practice it, practice it, because that's the only way you're going to get better at the active voice. And fun fact, the active voice is something you really want to do in resume writing, too. It's really, really good for resume writing. Makes you a very strong and powerful sounding candidate on the page before they even see you. And then they come in and say, I want to give that person an interview because you were using an active voice and speaking to them, reaching them with your confidence in yourself. So that's just a little fun extra bonus tip for you. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.